Good morning, y'all. I just wanted to share a little message that majority of us do know. But for the ones that do not know, in order for healing and deliverance to happen, you will be tested on that certain sin. God will use the enemy to come and test you, whether it's sexual sin, whether it's whatever that you have agreed and accepted in the spirit. But I just want to say to count it all as joy and do not beat yourself up if you were to fall in this sin. After you fall, we are not in condemnation. So with that being said, let's skip that part. You will be convicted and the Lord will give you understanding and revelation about it and what you should do when you have those urges to do that thing. And the fact that you see it, the fact that you know it's not right while you having those urges in that moment, that's a part of the process. It's step one. So in order to be healed and delivered, he got to empty that cup so it can fill back up. But first, you must come out of agreement with that thing. In the mighty name of Jesus, I renounce the spirit of and I denounce the spirit of and I repent from it. And what I also learned is you can set up altars where this certain sin will come and bombard you like say for sexual sin, your bed can be an altar. Plead the blood of Jesus over your bed, pray over your bed and repent from it. All of that to say, shame the devil, come out of agreement with that certain thing. And before the test come back, seek the Lord on what you should do so you will be ready for that next test. And once you pass that test, that cup will be emptied out. And the Lord will fill that hole up. He is made strong in our weaknesses. Seek him.